Obsidian is often referred to as the second brain app. Wait a minute! Who are you? At first glance, its interface might seem overwhelming, but there is a huge potential hidden beneath. On the other hand, Joplin is a useful open-source note-taking app that focuses on privacy, customization, and cross-platform synchronization. However, if you were to choose between either of these, which one would you go for? Let's find out. Let's begin by talking about how each app looks and feels when you're using it, the interface. Starting with Obsidian, it has a much more complex interface compared to Joplin. At first glance, Obsidian might seem a bit overwhelming, especially if you're switching from more traditional apps like Evernote or OneNote. The layout is quite different, with folders and plugin options on the sidebar, and all your notes stored in what Obsidian calls a vault. You can fully customize it, and that's one of its standout features. You can change the look with different themes, and there are plugins for almost everything. If you're someone who loves tweaking your setup, Obsidian will be a playground for you. For example, you can switch to a dark theme if you prefer working at night, or set up multiple panes so you can view and edit notes side by side. If you're managing something like a long-term research project, this ability to personalize the workspace can help organize complex ideas. Joplin, on the other hand, feels more like a traditional note-taking app. It has a simple and clean layout, which makes it easy to get started right away. If you've ever used apps like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, Joplin's interface will feel pretty familiar. You have your list of notes on one side and the content on the other. There's even a toolbar that helps with Markdown, which is Joplin's main way of formatting notes. This is helpful if you're new to Markdown because it makes formatting easier without needing to memorize commands. So, in terms of interface, Obsidian gives you a highly customizable experience, but might take some time to master, while Joplin is much simpler and more accessible right off the bat. Let's get into the features of Obsidian and Joplin and compare how each one benefits different types of users. This will help you see which app fits your specific note-taking and productivity needs. One of Obsidian's standout features is its knowledge graph, which lets you create connections between your notes in a way that mimics how our minds link ideas together. The graph view visually displays your notes as nodes, which shows how they are interconnected. This feature is great for users working on complex projects or research where it's essential to see how different pieces of information relate to one another. For example, if you're a researcher or a writer developing a book, the ability to connect ideas visually allows you to trace thoughts, build on them, and organize everything into a coherent structure. Joplin, on the other hand, doesn't have a built-in knowledge graph. However, you can still link notes manually using Markdown. This can be useful for users who need basic note linking without the added complexity of a visual representation. If you need simple connections between notes but don't require a visual map, Joplin's linking is sufficient, though it lacks the graphical insights Obsidian provides. For example, if you're creating a series of linked to-do lists or related meeting notes, Joplin can handle this without much hassle. Obsidian offers one of the largest plugin libraries, with over 900 plugins available. This allows you to transform your workspace into a highly customized environment. You can install plugins for things like Kanban boards, calendars, task managers, and more. This makes Obsidian really versatile, which lets you create an app that serves your exact workflow, whether you're organizing tasks or managing a project. For example, if you're someone who likes to organize tasks visually, you can install a Kanban board plugin, or if you're tracking dates, a calendar plugin can help. Joplin has a more limited plugin selection, with around 200 plugins. While not as extensive as Obsidian, Joplin still covers many essential features like tabs view, backlinks, and rich text editors. For users who don't need as many advanced features, this smaller plugin library might be enough. 
For example, if you're primarily using the app to take notes and occasionally manage tasks, Joplin's plugins will give you what you need without the overwhelming options available in Obsidian. Obsidian relies entirely on Markdown for formatting, which offers a clean and distraction-free writing environment. There's no rich text editor, so everything is done through Markdown commands. This can be an advantage for users who prefer a minimalist interface and don't need complex formatting options. For instance, if you're a coder or someone who likes working with plain text files, Obsidian's Markdown-only approach provides simplicity and speed. In contrast, Joplin offers both Markdown and rich text editors, which makes it more flexible for users who prefer a more traditional word processor feel. You can easily switch between Markdown and rich text depending on your needs, which is a great benefit if you need a bit more formatting control or if you're not as comfortable with Markdown. For example, if you're writing up meeting notes and want to quickly format text without learning Markdown, Joplin's editor gives you the flexibility to do that. While Obsidian isn't built primarily for task management, its plugins make it possible to add task management features like to-do lists and Kanban boards. You can create daily notes, track tasks, and use plugins to make Obsidian more than just a note-taking app. However, task management isn't the app's primary focus. It's more of a knowledge management tool than a task tracker, but with the right plugins, you can adapt it to handle both. Joplin, on the other hand, includes basic task management features right out of the box. You can create to-do lists, set reminders, and manage simple tasks within your notes. This makes Joplin more suitable for users who want a built-in way to manage tasks alongside their notes. For example, if you're working on a project where you need to keep track of tasks and deadlines, Joplin's ability to set reminders and organize tasks makes it easy to stay on top of everything. Obsidian doesn't have a built-in web clipper, so if you want to save web content, you'll need to find alternative solutions, like using third-party services or copying and pasting manually into your notes. For users who frequently clip content from the web, this might be a drawback. However, Obsidian's flexibility with plugins could provide some workarounds if you don't mind installing additional tools. Joplin shines with its web clipper feature. Available as a browser extension for Chrome and Firefox, the Web Clipper lets you easily save web pages, blog posts, and articles directly into your notes. This is an incredibly useful feature for researchers or anyone who likes to store information on the web. For example, if you're conducting research for a project, Joplin's Web Clipper allows you to gather resources quickly and organize them within your notebook, which makes it much more efficient than manually copying content. Obsidian is an offline-first app, which means your data is stored locally on your device. You can choose to sync your notes using their paid sync service if you need cloud storage, which includes end-to-end -end encryption to protect your data. This is ideal for users who prioritize privacy and want full control over where their notes are stored. For example, if you're handling sensitive information or prefer working offline, Obsidian ensures that your data is secured and accessible only to you. Similarly, Joplin also emphasizes privacy, which offers end-to-end -end encryption for all synced notes. However, Joplin gives you more flexibility in how you sync your notes. You can use Joplin Cloud or sync your data through third-party services like Dropbox, OneDrive, or Nextcloud, which gives you a range of options without locking you into a proprietary sync service. This flexibility makes Joplin a great choice for users who want to choose their own storage provider while keeping their data safe. If privacy is your top concern, both apps are well-suited for keeping your notes secure. So, which one should you choose? Well, it really depends on your needs. If you're someone who loves to work on visual connections and customization and wants a tool that helps you brainstorm or manage complex projects, Obsidian is the way to go. Its knowledge graph and plugin library are hard to beat, and it's ideal if you're looking for a tool to manage your thoughts in a more structured way. On the other hand, if you prefer a more straightforward note-taking experience and need something that's simple to use but still flexible enough for organizing tasks, Joplin might be a better choice. The fact that it's open source, 
and its web clipper feature makes it an excellent option for users who need to save and organize information quickly.